Hello, welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 18th of May for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to connect with me directly, you can do so at Twitter, at Horoscope Ace, or you can subscribe for your free daily horoscope, my monthly astrology magazine, by clicking the link beneath this video. Now, I'm going to bring you some really good news this week. Of course, we have got those retrogrades still going on in the guise of Venus, Jupiter, Saturn and Pluto, and they can slow things down. But actually, Jupiter forges an awesome angle to the Sun on the first two days of this week. And when these two characters are egging each other on, they can give us a sense of enterprise and the feeling that anything is possible. Of course, with Jupiter not in its favourite zone and in retrograde and very close to Pluto, we have to be mindful of the wider circumstances. But Taurus is all about structure. It's about foundations. And by Wednesday, as the sun speeds its way into the sign of uh, Gemini, the things that we've been putting in place over the last couple of months, even if we have been reacting so this massive change in our circumstances, we can now be set to become a lot more nimble on our feet. Also, there is a connection between Saturn and the Sun. So although ideas are going to be buzzing around, some of those can be really substantive, can be positive. I think we're going to see a lot of good news about technology and how it can help to clamp down on COVID-19. Also, the chance to connect better with others comes through the prism of the Gemini New Moon, which occurs on Friday. That's really exciting, not least because Venus and Mercury come together in Gemini in a conjunction on the same day. So what's the catch? Well, Neptune does continue to be in a right angle with Venus, which can create hazy, imperceptible, perhaps even confusing conditions about relationships. And also Mercury joins in in that square as this week draws to a close. So someone could tell us something that's actually not true at all. So when it comes to the briefings that we get from our governments, I think we still need to be rather sceptical and just try to earth things down but at the same time if you are enjoying downloading different topics or subjects um, uh, enlarging your knowledge on situations chatting away on social media playing quizzes with friends or in your community online that's all going to be given even more impetus this week it really is super and also mars now into the sign of Pisces, is linking very positively with Uranus, which can see us being a bit more spontaneous, uh, especially about our instinctive hunches, whereas the Gemini energy is much more mental, especially in its link with Saturn in Aquarius. So that's kind of air energy, uh, which is kind of like the swords in tarot, whereas Mars in the watery or cups of Pisces is listening to our gut instinct, acting out our hunches as he links magnificently with Uranus. Your specific forecast, Taurus, has been showing Uranus pushing you to make some changes. But you know, with Mars connecting with Uranus this week, now you can start to see the future pathway and the plan shape up. If there is an opportunity, perhaps it is a small window of opportunity because of the lockdown, because of COVID, have the confidence to go for it, particularly on Monday, on Tuesday. But this may mean going out on a limb a little bit. Just put in your faith into a situation and see where it will lead you. As the sun glides into Gemini and we have the new moon on Friday, this can be a time when you can start to grapple with the impact of what's happened in a very practical way. What are the catches? Well, I think it still comes from being a little bit too idealistic or perhaps 
uh, relying too much on any group thing. It's important to take possession of what you're going to do and not rely too much on what other people are saying. That can come through the hazy prism of Neptune, which is distorting both the presence of your ruler Venus and later this week Mercury in your second solar house of money. It could also be that you're adjusting around friendships. Perhaps your values have changed through the whole COVID crisis. Perhaps you're seeing things in a different way. If people haven't kind of shared your worldview or you've connected with people who you feel inspired by, perhaps there needs to be some kind of transition. But certainly the new moon gives you an opportunity to value yourself and value yourself highly at that. And good for you if so. Thank you so much for having joined me. If you'd like to go beyond uh, zodiac signs and embrace real astrology based on your time, date and place of birth, you can choose to have a one-to-one -one with me. Please check out my testimonials beneath this video. Or you can have uh, some horoscope reports from me which are very affordable. There is an offer, 30% off. If you have a year's forecast and a character analysis, Please also see the link for that beneath this video too. But for now, stay safe, take care and good luck.